What's going on YouTube? Finally got my Benjamin Trail NP2 synthetic 22 caliber version. Very nice, very weighted. Uh, I didn't use the scope it came with. I went straight to the center point 4 by 16 by 40. The adjustable objective with the illuminated reticle on there helps right around nighttime. Uh, I am shooting Crossman Premier Hollow Points. Pretty accurate with this gun. They they shoot rather small groups. Um, I'm bench rest here. I got a target at about 50 yards. And I'm going to do about five shots just to see the accuracy. I'll probably end up doing two groups just to kind of get a consistent shot group. And I'll see you down there. And uh, just something to point out, uh, I did purchase the Benjamin Sling that comes with the NP2 at a small price. And uh, to my disappointment, the pin that holds it onto this bracket right here completely fell out. Only carried it about two times on my shoulder. The lockdown nut right here didn't even unscrew. The pin just slid from out of the front and fell. Alright, so I got a little wind on these two strays right here. But other than that, not too bad. Let's get one more group. All right, and uh, sorry about that background noise. My neighbor's been mowing his lawn for like the past half hour, so <laughs> um, not too bad, not too bad. All right, guys, just to sum this rifle up, uh, my own little personal pros and cons of this rifle. Um, one thing Crossman said was, oh, uh, 10 pounds lighter cocking force. Uh, I personally, I don't see it. Uh, it actually feels heavier than most rifles I've used. Um, I am used to 177 caliber, so this did have more kick and the cocking force did feel heavier. Uh, they said about 30 pounds, but it felt at least 35 to 40. Um, not, not the biggest deal in the world to me. I'm not a real picky on cocking force, but uh, also scope it came with, didn't even put it on the rifle, went straight to this center point, uh, four by 16 by 40. Uh, perfect match for this rifle. It hits every time right where I am. Um, I will be making another video of me shooting different pellets um, because as of now these are the only ones that I've put in through this rifle so the accuracy could get better with new new pellets it could get worse who knows um, so I will find this this rifles perfect match uh, I really like the trigger trigger is very nice like everyone else says yeah it is really nice I like the safety um, perfect two-stage trigger um, the accuracy 
I did kind of make my own sandbags. I used uh, pillowcases and then I zip tied the tops and filled them with sand. Um, it did help. I made two of them and I stacked them on top of each other, shot off those. Uh, kind of held the gun in place a little better. Um, other than that, I mean, real nice rifle. I don't regret buying it. Um, a lot of people were having mixed feelings about this rifle. Oh, some people were saying the rifle was really good. Some people were saying it was terrible, not worth the money. But it all depends on the shooter, in my opinion. I've I've mainly shoot 177 caliber rifles, and those are extremely easy to shoot. Almost no recoil. The pellets do travel faster, so they will stray off path from time to time, which makes this rifle more accurate. Pellets move slower, but they hit with more force. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, really good rifle. I would recommend it to someone for hunting. I also made my own sleeve for this just for the heck of it. <laughs> uh, it has a pocket on the other side to hold pellets and all that stuff. But yeah, that's my, uh, my whole take on the Benjamin Trail NP2, 22 caliber version.